they agree? What's the answer? We all, we all agree again? Can two walk together? Except they be agreed. The answer is no, it's a rhetorical question. Two cannot walk together unless they agree. Right. That cannot have you cannot have a uh, one black man thinking he a Muslim yeah. and another black man thinking he a uh, uh, what's it called? An Afrocentric trying to go, uh, build a black empire. That can happen. Right. They have two different mentalities. You understand, my brother? And we as blacks and Latinos, we, we as Latinos, we gotta accept the black man as our brother. Right. We gotta accept him as that. That's a lot right. of Latinos hate the black man. A lot of black men hate Latinos. We cannot build that. We cannot build off that. We gotta gather together as a nation of Israel. Right. We gotta. We gotta. We have to gather together under the banner of the Bible. Read it again. Together, except they be agreed. Uh -huh. Now, give me my fact. So, verse one. Give me verse one. Amos chapter three, verse one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. How you doing, my sister? What's your, this is a natural question. What's your nationality? You black? She's black. I just black. Listen, sister. You're not just black. Listen, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Right, right. If you step forward, sister, we have a sign right here. And off this sign, sister, you're going to find yourself being for the tribe of Judah. And when you read the Bible, sister, Christ, the Messiah, which is a black man, is for the tribe of Judah. Now read this again. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. So God is saying, my sister, hear this word which God has spoken to you, O house of Israel. I mean, he's talking to the so-called blacks and Latinos and natives. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Say, sister, you read the Bible before, right? You read about the Red Sea when Moses took the Israelites out of Egypt. Listen, that was us. Listen, that was no that that was no white people in that thing. I don't know. People watch the movies and might think, oh, those are white people. No, listen, that was us. That was us. Good, so read on. You only have I known. Now that's heavy, sister. Because he's saying, you only have I known. Now you might have thought God is dealing with everybody, right? Now, you, you might have thought throughout your whole life, God is a God for everybody, He loves everybody. No, read this part again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Sister, does that sound like He's dealing with everybody? When it says, you only have I known out of all the families of the earth, what does that mean? Not not, you said not everybody, right? Why not? Okay, let's read it again. I'm, I'm explaining it to you right now. Read it again. Yes. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So he's speaking to the nation of Israel. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You understand, sister? So out of out of anybody in the earth, God is only dealing with the nation of Israel. That's right. And that's why it's important for you to know who you are because, listen, if you are not from the nation of Israel, God is not dealing with you. He is not dealing with the white man. He is not dealing with the Chinese man. Neither is he dealing with the Arab man. You understand that? He only deals with the nation of Israel. So guess what? Knowing that, now we don't. Therefore, I will punish you. For all your iniquities. So you you want to know why we as blacks until we're in the in the bottom of the bottom? Why we're always in the ghetto? Always always getting shot by the police? Why we always gotta beg the white man for crumbs? You understand that? Because he's saying, because I only know you and only gave you the commandments, because he only gave us the laws and commandments. He only gave us the promise of the kingdom. But because we turn our back against God and said, nah, I don't, I'm not doing that. I want to live a life the way I want to live my life. Now we're suffering. Now we're not, yes, now we're suffering because of that, sister. So guess what? The, the term of where much, where much is given, much is required. God did give us, God gave us the promises. He told us, if y'all keep my commandments, y'all will live forever. But because we decided to do things that he told us not to do, like I'm going to get to some points after this, he said, listen, read the part again. You only have I know of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. And we're suffering for our iniquity, sister, because what is sin? Iniquity means sin. What is sin? Going against God. Going against God, but how? In what way? Lying, stealing, cheating, fornication, hurting. Good. All those are commandments, correct? Laws. Now, this is exactly what sin is. Let's read, you got to read 1 John 3 and 4. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. 
Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. You're correct. You're on point. When you're in sin, meaning when you're breaking God's commandments, that's when you're a sinner. So now, sister, what do, what do we have to do as a people to reverse the suffering? What do we have to do? And how is that? Well, I guess worship. Stop getting brought this as one. Um, you know, like I'm still no <laughs> Now, you gotta give me Matthew 19, 19. Um, so there's a lot of things we gotta do as a people. Yes, now, so I'm gonna get to some things I see that you're doing that is not living rightly, you understand? But let's go Matthews, right? Let's see, what, let's see what Christ said, the Messiah, the black Messiah, what he said for us to do to get right. Matthew 19. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? That's the subject of matter right now. What do we have to do as a people to go to get right and make it to the kingdom? Read on. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. You understand that? So he said, listen, don't call me good. You know why he said that, sister? Because us as, as flesh, you understand, we all are susceptible to sin. Good. That's why we gotta always give honor to the Lord. You understand That's that? Right. Yeah. Read on. There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life. So if we want to make it to the kingdom, read on. Keep the commandments. You gotta keep the commandments, sister. And it's more than ten. There's more than ten. You understand? And now, give me the pants. All right? Because I'm gonna get you something, sister. And guess what? A lot of times we read this scripture, a lot of sisters get mad at us, and they get mad and they leave. So I hope all of you get mad at least, sister. I know. But give me the wrong with 22 verse 5. Right? See, this is important, sister. A lot of people don't accept this, and or they just, they just don't want to accept it. You understand? They don't know it, and they don't want to accept it. Now, it's your day to learn, sister. You gotta change. You definitely. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, what is that going into? Right. Meaning. Women are not supposed to be wearing pants, jeans, leggings. You understand right. that? That's what's going into, because those belong to men. Yes, yes. So, so you know what the deal is already, sister. You know what the deal is. So, so now, read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So guess what? The, you, and guess what? A lot of men out there be, rock, be rocking dresses and skirts. I don't know why. Tight jeans. Listen, they all know, yeah, the tight jeans, I think, is off. But listen, that's all the same way a woman that's not supposed to wear pants, the man should not be wearing the skirts and dresses or heels. You understand that? Because why? Read on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So when you're doing that, God is looking at you with the, with, with, with great the test. You understand that? No, you got to take this off and put yourself. What you got to put on, sister? A skirt or a dress on. Right. And a hat wrap. So it seems like you know this already. So what's holding you back? Americanized. You mean, you mean Revelation 18 verse 4? Now, so listen, we're all living in America, right? Now, we understand America is, is a sinful country. That's okay. I know. The Bible calls it. It's built on sin. Listen, the Bible calls it Babylon the Great. It says the mother of harlots. Everything in this country is off. You understand that? Like, it's crazy. But that's what sister. There's not an excuse for you to use because you know, listen, we're all listen, we're all got jobs here. We live in this country, but listen, we, got, we understand we cannot follow what what is pushing out in society to do. Because we have Revelation 18 verse 4. Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people! So now this is the book of Revelation. We read it, it's to talk about the fall and destruction of America. Because it's right. bound to fall. It's, it's right bound now. to fall. So now, sister, it says, And I heard another angel from heaven saying, Read on, read on for again. Come out of her, my people! So it says, Come out of her, my people. Now, this is not talking about us going and fleeing to other countries, sister, because most countries nowadays follow the same democracy of America. Right. Yes, you're right, your sister, you're correct. So it says, come out of my people, read on, that ye be not partakers of her sin. Your sister, the pants, for example, the pants. The pants for women was originated in America. Right. You understand that? During the feminist movement, they made the boomer pants, you understand that? The woman's pants. So. 
Because I'm pretty sure, let's, let's say you go back probably a generation or two uh, uh, before you, your grandmother was probably not wearing pants all the time. No. You see that? So this is a, it's a new thing going on. And it's being pushed by who? The, the United States of America. It's mainly here, but listen, not just here. You go to other countries, they all have the same thing. But this is the main country that pushes all the sin throughout the world. You understand that? That's what says she sits upon many waters. She listen, she controls the whole world. America has power everywhere. So sis, listen, sister. That is, you cannot use that as an excuse. Because the Bible is telling you, do what? Come out of her, my people! You gotta, we gotta, we gotta let go of the philosophies and mindset of this country. Like example, the woman wearing pants, interracial marriages, all that is, all things off. You understand that Christmas is off, what? Halloween is off, right. Thanksgiving is off. Right. That's what we come out of her, by spiritually, mentally, we gotta, we gotta stop following the ways of this country. We don't? Okay, but you are doing the pants. So you gotta let that thing go. I got Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because sister, what are the plagues coming to America? What are they? What are the plagues coming to America? What are, what's, what's about to happen? Well, right now, coronavirus, you're in the mask. Okay, right, the virus, but listen, there's one, there's, listen, there's a judgment coming. There's one coming that's gonna is gonna be more destructive than anything we've seen on Earth. Give me Zechariah 14. It says, okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna get to it. Listen, all that that you're talking about is gonna be in person in this country. That is that. that listen, now a lot of our people are following after. And sister, you know what's heavy about that? Sister, you know what's heavy about that? That's right. Sister, when we read the Bible, it says when two men lay together, he calls it what? An abomination. Right? Now, what did he call women in pants? Abomination. So listen, it is the same judgment. He said, right. my, one might seem like, oh, yeah, I'm not, do, I'm not doing that, that homosexual, lesbian stuff. But listen, at the end of the day, God calls it the same thing. They're both abominations. So the same way you, the same way you look at sister at, at those homosexuals, oh, that, that's nasty as hell. That's the same way God's looking upon the woman with parents. It's the exact same way. Now watch this. Read this. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the play. Now, remember, we read revelations about we have to come out of this country, right, spiritually, mentally, so that we don't receive her plagues. Now, Zechariah is explaining to us what is the plague. Read, read that again. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. We gonna read, read on. That have fought against Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Their flesh shall consume away. While they stand upon their feet. Sister, you know what can do that? Thermonuclear war, you understand that? Whoa. Bombs. That's what's happening. You've seen the news. Look what happened right in the Middle East. Okay. Listen, that is, listen it's, it's over there. They're bombing each other. But guess what? Russia, China, they have greater bombs than we have, that none of us can even imagine. We thought, we thought Hiroshima and Nagasaki was bad. Listen, they got bombs ten times stronger than that. You understand that? So, it says their flesh shall consume while they're in their feet. Meaning, it's instant death. That's how, that's how high it's going to be. It, yeah. The flames is going to consume your flesh while you're standing on your feet, you know? And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Listen, sister, before you leave those sister, that, that's what's bound to happen. So the same way God said, listen, you gotta, we got to come out of this country so we don't receive the same place you're receiving. This is bound to happen to this country, sister. So this, sister, the point is this. If we don't repent as a people, right? If we don't change out of our ways, what we're reading about, is gonna, it, we're gonna fall under that. We're gonna receive that plane. Sister, you gotta put the pants away, sister. <laughs> no, it's not, a, all we pull, it's not a joke. We think it's funny out here. Read, read that again, Zechariah. Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 12. Bring it out. And this shall be the plane wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. A lot of y'all think the Most High is, is full of games. Y'all think the Bible is a fairy tale. But the Bible says there's a plane. Bound to happen unto the land of well, America. So what is it? Read on. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Because the Bible says, guess what? There's a battle coming, but now at all times, it's a battle of fire. Bombs are bound to happen and fall to, on, the, on this country. And it says their flesh shall consume on their feet. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's a level of heat we cannot imagine. That is thermonuclear fire. Read on. And their eyes 
shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And that's what's happening now, and that's what's gonna happen to this country if you don't repent, sisters. We got, y'all gotta come out them pants, sisters. You gotta come out them pants, them jeans, and all that. You got it for me? Come on. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. So th this is heaven. The, the Most High is talking to the women nowadays. Read a part again. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Because guess what? We ain't out there. We don't care about the laws of God. Right. Y'all walking, walking across thinking this is a joke? We're reading, this sister, we've been reading about women should not be wearing pants, but women don't, don't even acknowledge that. They look at it, ah, man, not a, it's not a big deal. Look at that, see that? Oh, not a big deal. That's what God is calling y'all, careless woman. Right. You understand that? Because we don't acknowledge the commandments. We, don't, we only think, well, I don't kill, I'm fine. But yeah, yeah, you're a liar. Yeah, yeah, you're eating pork. Right. You're eating shrimp, all that stuff. God says, right, hear this word, oh, you careless daughters, you know? Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall he be troubled, ye careless woman. And that's what happened right now. We're being in trouble right now. This whole pandemic with the coronavirus, listen, that's of God. <laughs> Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC events. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth